Video games, they have been around for decades, are part of a $300 billion industry and are a favourite pastime for millions of people around the world. But not all games are created equal. Some manage to level up and reach critical acclaim and for some it's just game over. Join us as we take a look at the top 5 least and most commercially successful video games in this episode of 5 and 5. Coming in 5th in our list of the least commercially successful video games is No Man's Sky. Now I was torn about including No Man's Sky on this list as Hello Games have taken great pains to do whatever they can to redeem themselves and continue to improve and expand the No Man's Sky experience, but there aren't many companies that can say their game launch is a prime example of what not to do in video game marketing. Released worldwide in August 2006, this survival game was truly massive, as large as the Milky Way galaxy in fact, with over 18 quintillion procedurally generated planets to explore, mine and survive on. Unfortunately, Hello Games failed to manage expectations from the press and fans alike, collecting criticism like a No Man's Sky player collects random resources. It ranged from boring gameplay, the limitations that stemmed from having such a large game landscape to explore leading to repetitive encounters, and the grinding required was tedious, as well as the fact it was missing features that had been reported as being in-game, such as multiplayer. On the first day of release, No Man's Sky saw more than 212,000 concurrent players on Steam, exceeding expectations, but this rapidly dwindled just one week later, with just over 20,000 concurrent players. Things got worse and worse, and by the end of September, just 2,100 concurrent players were recorded. It seems the exaggerated expectations of the game, and the lack of communication from the developer in the months following the launch, saw its player base plummet like a rock. It goes to show that the hype train can do some real damage. Coming in fourth in our list of video gaming cautionary tales is Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk sits at number four in our list, not down to financial results. It grossed over 600 million in sales by the end of 2020 after all, but down to the sheer amount of negative backlash it received from, well, everyone. The severely hyped up game was first announced in May 2012, with trailers releasing at E3 2013, with more to follow in 2018 and 2019. After a number of delays, it finally hit the public in December 2019. The release was considered an unmitigated disaster as a result of game-breaking bugs and performance issues on lower-gen consoles that basically made it unplayable. The New York Times even went so far to call it one of the most conspicuous disasters in the game industry's history and saw CD Projekt Red take a severe beating in the court of public opinion, as well as in actual court with numerous lawsuits being launched against the developer. What other AAA title with so much hype and excitement has caused a near 10% drop in their company share price? Coming in at number 3 is Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal. Rise of Lyric was an action-adventure spin-off of Sega's Sonic the Hedgehog series and part of the Sonic Boom franchise. Published by Sega for the Wii U console along with its sister property Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal for the Nintendo 3DS. Both games were released in November 2014 and received overwhelmingly negative reviews about pretty much everything from its controls, its camera system, combat, story, dialogue and numerous bugs and technical issues. Jeez, what was actually good about this? Hang on, let me check my notes. Okay, well it seems nothing was. Perhaps they should have realised things weren't going so right when at E3 in 2014, Game Central wrote of the pre-release demo, the very worst game in the lineup was Sega's Sonic Boom, which was so unspeakably awful, we couldn't even force ourselves to play through the whole demo. Ouch! By the end of the quarter 2015, the combined sales of Rise of Lyric and Shattered Crystal were an abysmal 620,000, making it a commercial failure and the worst performing game in the entire franchise. In second place, and one that I feel is not actually deserving of its place in our list, is Okami. Now, this one is very strange. It's a very strange entry in our list, solely down to the fact that it won several coveted Game of the Year awards from publications such as IGN and Game Revolution. Developed by Clover Studio, Okami was published by Capcom and was released for the PlayStation 2 in 2006. With gameplay modelled on The Legend of Zelda and a celestial brush style aesthetic, it received critical acclaim and is seen by many as one of the greatest games ever made and an example of video games as an art form. So why does it make our list? Well, 
By March 2009, a whole three years after its release, it had sold just under 600,000 units, and it took its place in the Guinness Book of World Records as the least commercially successful winner of a Game of the Year award. Well, that's enough beating on Okami, it's only on this list as a technicality anyway. So here we are, number one on our list of the least commercially successful video games. Have you guessed what it is yet? Well, the wait is over. It is, of course, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Released in 1982, E.T. was designed by Howard Scott Warshaw. It was designed and intended to be an innovative adaptation of a beloved movie, but Warshaw just had five weeks to develop the game in time for the 1982 Christmas season. The result was an unmitigated disaster, universally panned and cited as one of, if not the worst video game of all time, as well as being cited as a significant contributor to the video game crash of 1983. It did manage to sell 1.5 million copies on release and over 2.6 million by the end of 1982, but it makes the number one on our list due to the fact that over 600,000 copies were returned, an approximate 2.5 to 3 million went unsold, and hundreds of thousands of units pretty much just ended up being buried in a landfill. Oh yeah, and it pretty much helped cause the collapse of the video game industry at the time. Unlike Okami, E.T. most definitely deserves its place in our list. Well, now we have covered the losers, let's get on to those games that have hit the high notes when it comes to sales, accolades and glowing reviews. Here is our top 5 of the most commercially successful video games. Coming in at number 5 is PUBG Player Unknown's Battleground. PUBG is the online multiplayer game that popularised the battle royale genre and brought the catchphrase winner winner chicken dinner to the mouths of countless 13 year olds. Since its official release in December 2017, PUBG has amassed over 70 million unit sales on PC and console and grossed over 4.3 billion on mobile devices as of December 2020. Now, if we were also counting free mobile downloads, this game would be much higher in our list with over 700 million downloads, but that's not how this most commercially successful list rolls, I'm afraid. We have not been factoring in free downloads into the equation. Regardless, PUBG was and continues to be a hit, spawning a number of unofficial clones, as well as receiving several Game of the Year nominations among other accolades. Well done, PUBG. Coming in at number four is Wii Sports. Released in November 2006, Wii Sports is Nintendo's best-selling Wii game ever and was most likely the root cause of an increase in TV sales at the end of 2006 as countless players forgot to attach the wrist strap on their controllers while trying to emulate Serena Williams in Wii Tennis. The collection of five sports simulations designed to demonstrate the motion sensing capabilities of the Wii Remote was well received by critics and received a number of awards including the 2006 Game Critics Award for Best Sports Game. With just under 83 million units sold as of March 2021, it still tops the Nintendo charts to this day and is a seasonal family favourite as you try and beat your Uncle Frank in a game of Wii Bowling after he is five eggnogs in. In third place in our top five commercially successful video games list is Grand Theft Auto V. The most recent addition in the ongoing GTA franchise, Grand Theft Auto V just broke record after record, earning $800 million in its first day and a staggering $1 billion after just three days. It received widespread acclaim, especially towards the multiplayer protagonist design, gameplay and its open world concept. As of an earnings report at the end of the first quarter of 2020, it had sold over 135 million units with an estimated 145 million plus having been sold to date. It is cited as the most financially successful entertainment product of all time, with about $6 billion in worldwide revenue, but these impressive numbers don't quite pip the final two in our list. The game that gets the silver medal, the runner-up in our countdown of video game winners, is Minecraft. A franchise that has permeated pop culture spawning films, Netflix deals, books, toys and more, the phenomenon known as Minecraft has transcended being just a video game. The blocky, procedurally generated sandbox world where players can discover and extract raw materials, craft tools and items and build some really impressive structures was developed by Swedish game developer Mojang Studios, made public in 2009 before fully releasing in November of 2011. Minecraft has been critically acclaimed, winning several awards and being cited as one of the greatest video games of all time. Social media, parodies, adaptations, merchandise and even an annual Minecraft convention, Minecon, have played large roles in popularising the game. It has also been used in educational environments, especially in the realm of computing systems, as virtual computers and hardware devices have been built within it. 
available on pretty much any console or platform you could throw a stick at. Minecraft has sold well over 200 million copies and continues to populate what I can only assume is about half the content available on YouTube. Now some of you may be wondering, why is Minecraft not number one? Well our top spot has been reserved for what is arguably the most iconic game ever made and has passed the time for countless gamers for decades, including myself. The number one, the grand poobah on our list, is Tetris. Tetris is yet another game that has permeated pop culture, giving us that catchy tune that you just find yourself humming when you least expect it, has inspired architectural design, countless musical remixes, many of which I wish had never been made in the first place, as well as some really inventive cosplay and Halloween costumes. First developed in 1984 for the Electronica 60 computer, it has been ported to 65 different consoles and game systems according to the Tetris company and has set the world record for the most ported video game of all time and most notably helped launch the iconic Game Boy, selling over 35 million copies of that version alone. The tile matching game named after Tetra, the Greek numerical prefix meaning four, and tennis, which was the developer Alexei Paginov's favourite sport, has spawned numerous variations and the sheer number of platforms it was available on mean total sales are nearly impossible to tally accurately, but it is estimated that well over 500 million copies have been sold as mobile downloads alone, easily topping anything else out there. So there you have it, our list of the ultimate video game winners and losers. Do you agree or disagree? Leave a comment below to let us know what you think. Subscribe to Fan Expo HQ and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode of 5 and 5. See you next time.